Welcome back to Why in the Morning. You know, when it's Tuesday, it's Center for Nishib Tuesday. Good music and getting you informed, entertained at the same time as you also acquire uh, information when it comes to business that you may venture into. In this particular session, we dive into an interview that looks at tour and travel. And in studio, I am joined by Keitan Safai Kenya, uh, the founder who is none other than Kevin Owino. Thank you very much, Kevin. Thank you for having me too. Karim I appreciate Asante. Kevin. Yes. So early on, before we got here on set, yes. we were having a conversation of where you studies study, yes. uh, your background, mm -hmm. and because we were about Yes. Tell us more about what you studied in school. Okay. So my name is Kevin from Keitan Safaris. So I was uh, born in Nairobi, raised up in Madar Islams. I got to study, went to high school, and then I joined the Masai Mara University in Narok. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Masai Mara in University, um, it's a university that is, I think it's less known. I see memes on Twitter, what I to enjoy at it, to not rent manyata. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there are modern facilities, great uh -huh. accommodation mm -hmm. for students, and also uh, it's, a nice, it's a nice place. Okay, so yes. what is your background when uh, it comes to education that so, is? Yeah, yeah. So, so in primary school, I studied, uh, like I said, in Madare, a place called Madare Community Outreach. Then high school, I went to uh, Rambo Boys High School, which is in Siaya County, or Bondo. Bondo. Then campus? campus, I pursued tours and travel management. Oh, right. Yeah, so it was uh, my passion. I love traveling. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the course I went for because it, it's fitted with the, what I wanted to do in life also. Okay. Yeah. So uh, talk to us about uh, Kate and Safaris Kenya. So how did it happen? How did you go about it? So how did it start? So Kate and Safaris Kenya is now four years and some months old. In October this year, we turned five. Mm -hmm. So we started in two, two, 2016. Yeah, so I, I graduated from Masai Mara University in 2016. And uh, I got employed for around three months. Then I quit to start uh, Keitan Safaris. So right now it's uh, four years and some months old and uh, we're still growing. So we mainly focus on domestic tourism because uh, we think it's a, it's a niche that is less exploited and also that uh, has a very good uh, clientele and also it's, it's the most, the fastest growing market in the tourism industry. Oh, yeah. And when you guys were starting off, yes. uh, what was your sort of kind of capital when kick-starting the business? Okay, so the business uh, started from scratch because I started like uh, on a, I did it as a personal business first as we began. So there was not so much capital that I had, but I leveraged on the use of social media to market my tours and travel. We do mostly events, especially during the weekends. So like you get every weekend we have a trip happening. Yeah, so from the little savings I had from campus, let's say around 50,000, I pumped it into the business, started marketing, pole pole, like uh, uh, posting and uh, sponsoring posts on Facebook, on Instagram, and also doing posters, doing t-shirts, most of it we went to marketing and also the business registration. Okay. Yes. So someone who's watching us and they wonder, uh, what if they don't have the money uh -huh. like, to just uh, uh, put it into the business, mm -hmm. uh, like in your situation? Yes. Is there a possibility that they can get into this business? And yeah, there's what are a couple of ways they there, can there's a lot. There's a lot of potential in the industry and uh, you don't really need to have too much money to begin with. Uh, for example, right now, like I said, social media is uh, giving guys a platform to showcase what they have. You know, if you have a talent, if you have a, a business you want to do, all you need to know to do is put it out there. And putting it out there is simply marketing it. How do you market it? If you are on social media, um, uh, this is a quote that I picked from Johnson McCarthy. He said that if you are on social media, you own a media house. So showcase what you have and start from somewhere. The moment you do your first trip or your first sale, you will have kicked off and start rolling. So showcase what you have, 
someone who is interested in it will probably buy and then you start from there and you grow pole pole how did you get your first client um first trip we did a day trip somewhere in nyeri and i had only three clients so i added uh, a few of my friends to join us we went we were about six so the clients were happy they enjoyed the trip the following uh, trip we had 12 guys turning up and then slowly slowly we had 15 20 25 until when we were turning one year old we had around 100 guys turning up for our trip yeah so that's the progress like it started from like six to now we do trips every weekend and we have guys turning up, turning up. yeah yeah so when starting off as you've said we start with the you know a small number and it grows with time yes. how do you build credibility uh, when potential clients come yes. to you uh, yeah so for your business to be approved by clients you you know for tourism what you sell is a promise it's not like selling uh, a shoe that someone can see and touch and feel what you're selling in the tourism industry it's a promise. I promise that when you join us for a trip, you're going to have fun, you know? So my work or our work as Kate and Safaris is to deliver that fun. If we fail to deliver that fun, then we fail in our promise. If we tell you we are going to take you to Naivasha for a three lakes tour in one day, and we go to Naivasha and we just get to Lake Naivasha, which is one lake, then we will have failed in delivering our promise. Mm -hmm. So when we, when you market something, you tell some, someone you're going to do something or you're going to offer a service, just make sure you deliver that. If there's going to be photography, make sure it's there. If there's going to be food, make sure it's there and it's good food. If there's going to be swimming, if there's going to be whatever you promise, deliver. Okay. We are not like the government. <laughs> <laughs> That's so let's look at this. For someone who is watching this, yes. and they want to get into this business. Yes. Okay. The other scene, because I know there's a part whereby we see uh, posters, we are going to Kirita, yes. we are going to Ngong. Uh -huh. And then there's the other aspect, the business aspect of it, whereby you guys are sitting down yes. uh, with the owners of these uh, places that you're taking us uh -huh. and striking a deal. Give us top three negotiation tips, skills. Um, in, in generally, or uh, when striking a deal, when striking a deal uh, for someone who's watching this and they want to get into this space, yes. So, negotiation skills number the three top most is uh, for okay, for my industry, I'm for the niche that I'm in is numbers. Yeah, when you have numbers, then you can simply negotiate your way through. Through uh, maybe you want to take guys to a place and uh, it's a villa they are charging maybe 30000 per night uh, for one villa that sleeps 10 so you tell them i'll be bringing you 15 15 guys every weekend you see and you reduce for me the the rate of the villa to around let's say 20000 you know that person will look into the the bigger picture that he will be in business for three consecutive weeks so he'll be able to reduce the the cost for you oh you've been in business for a long time yeah they reduce on cost and he will actually make his money actually yes he back. will make money like thrice rather than he gets one person who pays 30k in one day and then for the rest of the four 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 weeks he doesn't have business so it's better if you have numbers it's easy to negotiate yeah number two is just honesty like uh if you're given a deal and uh, the other person also has an expectation, you live up to the expectation of that deal, whatever you guys discussed and agreed upon. Yeah. And uh, the third top uh, negotiation skill is uh, confidence. You know, if you're not confident, you're not going to go out there. You're not going to try out new things. You're not going to reach out or you're not even going to, to, to make that step. Of wanting to do something so if you, if someone realizes that your confidence in what you're doing or what you're saying then they'll take you seriously and you can sit anywhere and tell, tell anyone anything and they can agree with you if your confidence right. yeah so those are the three most okay so alone you mentioned that your niche is in the domestic tourism yes what is the gap that you saw there that you actually uh, fulfilling 
Yeah. Uh, domestic tourism has been ignored for quite a long time. Like, uh, I think COVID opened the eyes of many guys because they're depending on the international tourism a lot. But the local market is there, like throughout. You know, in the international market, there are seasons. There's a low season, there's high season, there's peak season, there are all that seasons. But for the domestic market, Kenyans are there throughout, whether it's raining, whether there's a, there's a sorry to say this, whether there's a bomb in Lamu, they will not, uh, they will not stop going to Kisumu because maybe there was a terrorist attack in Lamu as compared to the international tourism, uh, where if something happens, it's very uh, fragile. Something happens in Kenya, maybe they're going to Masai Mara and there was an attack in Mombasa, they will fail to go. They will cancel, they will get all these travel advisories. But you know, for us Kenyans, we are here. We know that the situation on the ground. So Kenyans are there always, and Kenyans travel a lot. Kenyans travel a lot. I can tell you in the last five years I've been in the industry, Kenyans travel. So it's a gap that they need, they need to travel, and they want someone to assist them in coming up with packages and taking them for trips and making things work uh, for them when they are uh, in the trips. What are your packages? What packages do you offer and are they at an affordable price? Yes, yes. I think we are the most affordable company in Kenya because uh, we do date from day trips. We do starting from 3,000. From 3,000 you can go to Naivasha, have lunch, mm -hmm. do some boat riding activity, mm -hmm. have photography. In all our trips we have photography and also we have very nice food in our trips. So that is a, a day out in Naivasha. If you want to do an overnight from as low as 6K, you can go for a camping vacation or even accommodation from as low as 9,000. So uh, we normally do group trips. You know, when we do a group trip, we, the cost is uh, shared amongst everyone. So it's become cheaper than if you travel alone. If you did self-drive, you'll cater for the cost of fuel, um, energy, you get tired, mm -hmm. and then also you'll pay for the accommodation with the high rates because for us as a group, we negotiate the rates and they get uh, better rates. Okay, so uh, I've seen this a couple of times that everyone is now venturing into train travel. There's so many people into in, the, in this particular space. Yes. So how have you guys branded yourself to just uh, uh, be different? Uh, it's true that so many have uh, ventured into the in the industry, which is, is a good thing. But uh, the market also usually filters itself. There's a time those, those who are quacks, they'll simply be filtered out. But for us, what we do is uh, we maintain our quality standards. Like, like I just said, we deliver our promise. Each and every time, each and every trip, it's a special one for us. We just make sure that we deliver. And at the end of the day, that client will retain them for the next trip. Oh, wow. Yeah. And there's this perception that uh, when it comes to the train travel space, it's quite easy. I have friends, right? I can just create a poster and I call Netambogi, Tunenda, Naivasha, Rea Tunenda Nax. So uh, what would you say about that particular perception when it comes to this industry and for people who are looking forward to get into this space or for someone who got into this space mm -hmm. with that kind of mentality and things didn't go just as they planned? Yeah, so um, like any other business, it may look easy, but it involves a lot of risks. That's number one. Number two, there's a lot of hard work to put in it. Like for, for us, we've been here for five years, so we've really worked hard to have a base, a clientele base, such that if we form a trip, we are sure that it's going to happen. You know, like you say, you call your mbogi, when you tell them we are going to Naivasha, usually you're many, you're like 10. I'm a 15, I'm a, let's say 20. Then three weeks to the trip, you're seven. One day to the trip, Mkotu Awili. <laughs> but you need see, so for us now, we come to solve that. Mkotu Awili, you wanted to go to Vasha, your friends have not turned up. So we provide that solution. We give you a trip to Vasha. You join others, you meet new people, and you get to interact with them and all that. And also there are a lot of things that we take care of, like 
uh, if you if you did a self drive to Naivasha, by the time you're getting there, you'll be tired because of driving, or even uh, you don't know where to go, what to do. So for us, we we have that knowledge. We know what to do. We know even some places that people don't know. Uh, did you know that there's a lake called Lake Sonachi? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, you see, so if you go to Naivasha and it's just the normal Naivasha boat riding, maybe you go somewhere uh, night, night, mm -hmm. night, uh, and all night out and all that. But if we come in, we give you even more. Oh, we right. reveal to you things that you, you didn't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's that's where we we fall in. Okay, yeah. real quick, the process whereby you guys uh, go out, uh, you know, what I don't know if it's to survey for new joints, <laughs> for lack of a better, but yeah, destination hunts. Yes. So the process, what is the process like? And uh, now before you actually now come up with a post, that real trip, quick. Uh, yes. Yeah. So before you come up with a trip, normally as a tours and travel uh, agent, number one, you need to ask the question where. Mm -hmm. Where, what, when. Those three things are very important. Where you'll have to pick the location. It has to be accessible. If it's a hike, there has to be a route. There has to be a trail. And then when. This one comes mostly in terms of weather. The weather has to be good for you to go. Like you can't go to water rafting in Sagana when the river is dry, you see. And then where, when, and? What? What to do, what yeah. To do. What to do, yeah. So you have to find out the activities. Okay. So this is, we call it a pre-visit. It's very important for a successful trip and you have to go through those three processes before a trip becomes successful. All right, so how can people find you across all the social media handles? Uh, we are on Facebook at Keitan Safaris Kenya. We are on Instagram at Keitan Safaris and also on Twitter at uh, Keitan Official. All right, thank you yeah. very much, Kevin Owino there, uh, the founder of uh, Katen. Yes, Katen Safaris. Safaris. Yes. Thank you very much for creating thank time to be with us today. All right, so we were talking about to travel, the business uh, aspect of it. So make sure you don't tap that dial. We'll be right back. So at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles. At Michelle Lashira is where you can find me across all my social. Thank you. All right, so it's the time. Our time frame. It's a real ah, look. Time me enda na si jaona. I was just enjoying this conversation. So guys, we have come to the end of the show. So make sure you create time next Tuesday. The time frame is seven till ten a.m. as usual, right here on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Remember, at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Lashira is where you can find me across all my social Remember also underscore Mutete. Uh, follow Faith across all our social media handles. So next Tuesday, same time frame. Have a nice day. Enjoy the rest of your viewing right on Y254 channel.